Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to try on some Glossier products. This brand is not new but it just came to Sephora I think a couple weeks ago and I heard so many people talking about it and I have never tried Glossier before and I was really interested in their products. So I have here you know a good a range of products not a quite a full face um, and I'm just gonna try them on most of these I've already used and have my thoughts on them but I have two products here that I haven't um, used before the liquid eyeliner and the boy brow actually this I have tried before in store and kind of got an idea of how I liked it but that's all we're doing today so i hope you guys will enjoy it grab something to drink and let's get started i have no makeup on right now i have a lip balm and that's about it and i've been in the sun a lot so all my freckles are out which you know i like i like freckles overall glossier is more of that no makeup makeup kind of look that clean girl vibe simple very minimal makeup and the products really do reflect that um i decided to skip on their foundation or tinted moisturizer i swatched it in store and it had almost zero coverage. It did feel nice on the skin and I could see how some people would enjoy that kind of product and truly I probably would have enjoyed it uh, those days where I'm putting nothing on except that, almost like um, a serum. But I personally have so many other tinted moisturizers that I probably would reach for more often like the Cali Ray, the Summer Friday, the Iconic London, the one from um, Shantakai, the one from YSL. There's just so many that I have that I really felt that I'm going to buy that, review it, and probably never touch it again because the coverage is so light. So I decided to skip on that, but I'm going to go in with this one. This is the Glossier Future Dew Oil Serum Hybrid. In the packaging of Glossy, it's just all really cute, kind of simple. Some feel cheaper than others, but this one is actually really nice packaging. So this is pretty much like a primer that is glowy. Um, and I'll show you. Can you see? I'm just going to put it here. It has such a beautiful finish. It's glowy, it's moisturizing. In the beginning, it's a little sticky, but that kind of sets down. This I mainly use on the high points of my face. So you can see here, here, it has a beautiful dew glow, and I think it's really, really beautiful. And add it a little bit here. This feels nice and moisturizing and it's a very glowy as you can see and I'm gonna use this also as a highlighter. I've seen Sophia Sees Beauty video of Glossier so she had tried a lot of different Glossier products and honestly I was inspired to buy a couple of things because of her. I'll link her channel down below um, but she used this as also highlighter instead of the stick and I wanted to do that as well and I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit more but as a primer it's really nice moisturizing it's not glittery it's just glowy now I will put a pore filling primer real quick this is the hourglass vanish right yes I'm just taking a little bit of this and putting it right here I think one of my bigger issues with my skin is pores like I have quite large pores here so um, I decided to not put the dew <laughs> there I didn't want to bring more attention to my pores but on the cheek on the, this outer area it's really pretty like I mentioned before I decided to skip the foundation and go for their concealer this is in G10 it's called stretch concealer and this is more like a very emollient concealer. It reminds me a lot of the RMS concealer. I have it right here. So this is the RMS and this is the Glossier. And you guys can see it's the same kind of idea and consistency. I'm going to swatch them next to each other. In the RMS, I have the color 22. And in the Glossier, I have G10. The Glossier feels even more slippery almost than the R um, R 
RMS, I keep saying RCMA, but overall they do feel quite similar. The color is also different. The Glossier is a little bit peachier, which I actually quite like. The way I've been using this is to just use my finger and put it under my eyes, but I wanna try it with a brush. This is the BK Beauty 109, and I wanna see how it works with a brush. I'm gonna start with under the eyes, but I'm also gonna drag this to all the areas that I want to conceal since I don't have a foundation right now. So I'm gonna slowly build it up here. I would say this concealer is light coverage, it doesn't cover much, but it evens out the skin nicely. I would even go as far as to say it's a light to medium coverage because you can build it up slightly. Not too much, but enough where that's good for me. I am bringing this on the nose as well. I'm going to bring it a little bit on the chin, quite red, and on the cheeks. So this product actually quite like um it's not for everybody i think there's just a very small amount of people that would truly enjoy a concealer like this it's very glowy very emollient and it's i would say it's nicer for dry skin and not oily if you're oily this probably would be your worst nightmare so this is how it looks like. I mainly focused it in the center, like under my eyes, on my chin. Didn't really touch it here and some on my forehead. And as you can see, it covers decently. Like I don't feel the need to have to go in with foundation when I wear this. Now, obviously if you have a lot of imperfections and you need a lot more coverage, that's different. But I'm thinking for an everyday kind of product, I'm trying to, tap it in here and blend it, blend it in a little bit. The finish is very radiant. If you have a ton of fine lines, you're gonna have to set this concealer. Actually, you have to set this concealer no matter what. I have tried to use it by itself and not set, but truly it was gone way too soon. Like within a few hours, I felt like I had nothing on. So in order for this concealer to remotely stay under your eyes i think you need to set your face but if you do set it i find it decent like decent wear time not the most long lasting it is a very minimal product but better than um i expected with the powder. This is how I like to use uh, this concealer to kind of stretch it out almost like a foundation. Just pinpoint the areas that need to be covered or cancel that redness and I feel like it works really well. I think under the eyes it's fine but it will crease. Like this will, will crease pretty badly. Like I barely have it on and it's already creasing under here. However, I will powder under the eyes uh, at the end and I feel like that really helps. I do like the finish. I like the radiance. I like the simplicity and I like that I can use my fingers because I take a little bit and stretch it all the way in my cheek. Is this the best concealer I've tried? No. Is this terrible? No. I think this is geared towards a very specific group of people that enjoy kind of minimal easy makeup that's a very radiant and emollient. Moving on to probably one of the more popular products from Glossier and they are the Cloud Paints. These are blushes, cream blushes, and I know Glossier was one of the first ones to come out with cream products like this or liquid, I would say. So this is how they come and you just have to unscrew this top and the product is right there. The two colors I got is Dusk and Puff. Dusk is supposed to be more of a neutral brownish color and Puff is supposed to be a more cool tone pink. Now I was hesitant to get Dusk because it looked quite bronzy on me. So these are the two colors right here. I'm gonna swatch them. This one right here is Dusk and then we have Puff. So I think what I like about these is that, look, you can just mix all of these and they mix so well and you create your own color. I think the reason I got Dusk, it was because of that, because I felt like I could calm down any other blush with a Dusk because it has 
more of a brownie undertone. Um, I've, I've worn this and I'll, I'll put both of them on so you can kind of see. Overall, I really like the formula. I think a little does go a long way, but not with all colors. So I'm going to put dusk. I put a dot here spreading this out and I'm going to just go with my finger here and slowly build this up. I did not purchase any of their um, bronzers. It had terrible reviews and I've seen some videos and I was like, mm, I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> so dusk on me, it just almost disappears. I feel like I have to work so hard for the color to show up. But so many people love this color, so I thought, why not? You know, I don't regret getting the color because I can see using it, again, to mix some products or if I have nothing on, just a little bit of this, it could almost be like a bronziness to me, like just a little bit of warmth. As you can see, I'm doing here. These do set down, um, which is nice because I feel like I need something that's not super glossy. You still have that glow from it, but they do set down. You know, the color is just a little bit too finicky for me. It just doesn't show up as well. I need to build up the color quite a bit, but I do like the finished result for a no makeup kind of blush. It just bronzes me up a little bit. And I do like overall the effect, but the color needs to be built up quite a bit on my skin tone. If you're lighter, that probably won't be the case. I use my fingers with these, but you can absolutely use a brush. I'm going to take the color Puff. And this is more pigmented. It almost has more opacity to it than Dusk. I'm going to take a little bit right here and blend this in. There was a color that was like a fuchsia. I almost picked that one instead of this pink one, but I got scared because <laughs> once I put it on my hand, it like did not budge. It was there for quite some time and it was so bright. So I was like, let's be safe and do this baby pink color. And I'm glad I did because I really like this color. I think it's kind of feminine and pretty. It's not too cool tone, it's not too bright. It's like, I like it, it's soft and elegant. So this is Puff and I didn't have to work too hard to get the color, I can build it up even more. I think this one just has more opacity and more pigment to it and it's obviously pink compared to my skin. The other one kind of blends into my skin a little bit too much. Oh, I was gonna show you how to use a brush with this, oh well. Let's do that now. I'm gonna take a brush and just slowly build this up. I'm taking it all the way on my eyes because I don't really have an eyeshadow from them. So this is Dusk, definitely more uh, warm, a lot of warmth, and then this is Puff. I definitely prefer Puff, um, but what I'm gonna do right now is try to combine them, put a little bit of each color on each cheek. I tried to kind of match the blushes and put a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And I actually really like the color right now. I think it's really beautiful. I like the effect that it has. And just overall, I like this product. I even like the application. I don't mind working off my hand. I wouldn't put it straight on. I feel like that could be dangerous. But overall, this is a product that I've been reaching for and enjoy it. And I can see myself in the future getting other colors. But this is important. Do not use it under heavy foundation because it will move some of your foundation. But overall, I do still like them for that no makeup makeup kind of look and i think it's i think they're beautiful now i'm gonna go back to the future do and add a little bit here on my hand and honestly i use my fingers for i think everything <laughs> um i'm going to take this and add a little bit of glow right here the thing that i've learned about this is that this will move the blush and i just I like the effect that it has, but I tried it with a brush, I tried it with a sponge, I tried it with my hands, and I still have kind of the same issue. I feel like it moves the blush underneath, mostly these the blushes from um, Glossier. I was like, what brand am I reviewing? 
Uh, but I do love the finish of this. So I almost recommend you putting the Future Dew under the blushes and this over it. I have been doing that most of the time, but I wanted to show you the blushes by themselves without the Future Dew. But that is the finish that you're going to get. And I think it's absolutely stunning. I love this kind of wet look. Um, and I think it's pretty, but I feel the need to go back into my brush or like take a little bit more of your blush and just try to kind of match that. I've powdered a little bit in the center and I really felt the need to do that. Moving on to the brow products and I have here two recommendations that you guys gave me, the brow flick and the boy brow. I have the brow flick in the color black and the same with the gel. Now the brow flick I have been trying and you know what? If you don't hold it down and shake the product, it won't come out. Um, so I actually really like the way it makes my brows look. It has this long brush applicator, but what I've noticed is that if I keep it flat, the whole product almost dries down like the tip of the brush. And I have to go back quite a bit to try to get the product out. So I love the effect that this has. The color is black. The brown one was just a little bit too warm for me. So I just go in there kind of carelessly, adding some brush strokes wherever I need to. I think what I like about this one compared to the NYX, for, for example, is that it's not quite as pigmented. And so I am just more relaxed with using it. I don't feel like, oh, if I do one brush that is too much, it's just gonna ruin my look. No, it's just easier, I think, overall. I feel like I'm covering my work, but um, I need to see. I wish that they had a more taupey color. This is black, and I feel like because my hair has some highlights in it, it almost doesn't match as well. It's workable, but I wish they had a better color match for me. Oops, I made a mistake, but that's okay. I'll just wipe it off. Um, like I said, the brown color seemed to have too much warmth and I feel like that, that looked even faker on me um, in my brows. So this is the only one that we could do. Okay, I can't do this on camera. I need to be like close. So a couple of things that I really like about the product is that it doesn't apply too much um, and it's easy. The brush is sturdy enough where it'll stay where you put it, but flexible enough where you can flick the product quite easily. I don't like that it feels like it's gonna dry out really quickly. Um, so you have to push it down like this, like keep it this way. And it also has that little ball that pushes the product in. So if you think that this is drying out quickly, just give it a shake and it will it'll get there. And also I wish I had a better color match. Even though it works, I just feel like my brows are a little too black. I need a slight brown. Moving on to the boy brow. Now this, I have the same issue with the color. It's almost like a black blue color. I'll swatch it right there. See, it almost has that blue undertone and that is not for me personally, but the warm one looked even worse like even faker, I definitely could do the other color, the one that has um, no, no color, the clear one. But the way I use these brow products is just as one and done. I would use this by itself without having to use the brow flick. Uh, I think this is more of a pomade if i'm not mistaken yes it's a gel pomade volumizing eyebrow gel pomade and you know what i really like the formula uh, for somebody that has quite a lot of brows i don't need uh, to hold them in place too much i just need a little bit of fullness and just kind of make them 
look nice and polished this is a perfect product for me the brow flick takes a little bit more work for me personally but something like this it's so easy so fast now i have the tom ford fiber brow gel i have my charlotte tilbury little brow gel i love those those are my go-to but really i see myself going through this one uh, also the kosas they're kind of all doing similar things this feels a little bit more pomade rather than just straight up gel which i do like one thing to mention is that this is not the most um, laminating brow gel this is not it this is easier softer so if you need your brows to stay in place all day long this probably won't be for you this is more a little bit more volumizing and um polished okay i have a few more products here i think the lips and then I'm going to talk about the perfume a little bit and that's it, right? I think so. So the only lip products I picked up are the Generation G and I picked these up because I like matte lipsticks and I have so many glosses and these kind of gave me that very sheer pouted look and I've actually added these in my favorites because I love them so much this is probably one of my favorite products that they have that i've tried so far and i just love it it's kind of like a balm that's matte and it has some color to it but it's transparent and it's powdery almost so i have the color like right here and then the color cake so these are the two colors, cake and like, and excuse, those are all flicks from the eyebrow gel. And I'm gonna show you both of these. Now, a thing that I don't love about them, which is why I moisturized my lips before, they can be quite drying. These are not moisturizing products at all. And so if you're somebody who struggles with really dry, dry lips, I would not recommend these whatsoever, but if you, you know you're okay or normal i think these are really pretty and i think i like that they're so easy no fuss even if i don't have makeup on i kind of just put this on and i feel like my lips look a little bit better so i'll try the color cake on first so i went a couple of times to get more pigment so this is the color cake and I think it's really pretty, it's super warm, but we're very wearable. I would wear this all the time. And then let's try the color like. This color is more pinky and it will almost stain your lips. This is a really fun pop of color without it being too much. And you can even pat the edges and make it look worn in almost. I really like this formula. It stays on really well. I like that they're matte and that are sheer. You can kind of build them up a little bit or spread them out. I just think it's such a beautiful lip formula. Again, if you struggle with dry lips, do not get these because they can cling to your dry patches. But besides that, I like everything about them. Okay, I completely forgot to try the eye flick. This is their Pro Tip Brush Point Liquid Eyeshadow Eyeliner. Ooh, that's a pretty pink color. I like that, let's see. It had good reviews, although it doesn't seem super dark. I don't know. It doesn't seem extremely pigmented. I'm gonna compare it to my Tom Ford. So this one right here is Tom Ford and then that on the top is Glossier. So you can see how much darker the Tom Ford is. However, I will say that I wouldn't expect Glossier to come out. Sorry, I'm trying to grab something to clean my hand with. Um, I wasn't expecting a super intense black uh, eyeliner from Glossier because it just doesn't work with the brand. Everything is kind of sheer and soft and I don't know. I, I can see the use of not such a dark eyeliner. Let's try this on. I'll try to do a little bit on camera. And then I'm gonna go off camera because I literally need to be so close to the mirror to do this. That 
that went on so much easier than I expected. I have to switch mirrors to kind of clean up the edges, but wow, that was actually very easy. That's kind of nice. I'm actually going to do the other side and I'm going to put mascara on. I didn't buy their mascara because my uh, local Sephora didn't have the black one in stock and I was tempted by the brown one, but mm, I couldn't see myself using the brown one when it's a very, very natural mascara. So I'm going to finish this, put mascara on, and I'm going to come back and talk about the perfume. I actually love this liner it was so easy i'm just curious to see how it will last throughout the day i will uh, update the description box with um how it were but it's easy fast the point is sharp enough where it adds a fine line but it's easy to maneuver just overall very impressed with this eyeliner and i almost didn't pick it up this is the whole face of Glossier, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the U perfume. So this one, uh, I love it. I love it so much. To me, it smells warm, but clean. Quite, um, I wouldn't say it's super close to the skin, even though I thought it would be. A lot of people have complimented me when I wore this. Now, I overspray like nobody's business. So, you know, that could be just me spraying like five to 10 <laughs> sprays. I am not the one to two spritz girl. No, I'm gonna do five sprays. Uh, now, if it's a heavy perfume, I'll do two, but this I, I would say I do one, two, three, four, five. So I would say five sprays. Um, and it's been lasting well on me. I know it, perfume is so um, based on how your skin reacts to it and all that, but I've heard a lot of people saying that, oh, this doesn't last for an hour on them. And on me, it really does. And I get compliments when I wear it. It's very... To me, it smells more musky and clean. Very clean i was looking at the notes here and it said that it had some iris pink pepper iris and abrox i don't even know what that is honestly but um it smells clean and absolutely beautiful and this is supposed to change based on your skin but honestly all perfumes do that i read people saying that this smells like pencil sharpener and it does but in such a good way, in such a clean and earthy way. I love it. I love it so, so much. Um, this is a wonderful perfume. If you have teenagers, I feel like this would be such a good perfume to start with because it's around the $63, $64 mark. So it won't break the bank, but it's not... Victoria's Secrets. It's it's definitely clean and, and warm and... I just feel clean when I wear it. And that clean girl, oh my gosh, of course. It's very glossy, yeah. So the perfume is an absolute yes. I love it so much and I don't feel guilty over spraying with it because it's not quite as expensive as some, as some of my other perfumes. So I'm like going to town with it. So that is everything from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I would love to hear your thoughts down below about Glossier. I definitely think this brand is not for everybody. It could be a lot of work for some people and just get frustrated or it could be super easy and just use your hands and you know have barely their makeup. So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!